MCB for you one, chapter four, curve sketching, session 12. In this session, we are going to solve questions from page 213 of the textbook. Question six, determine constants A, B, C, and D so that the curve defined by Y equals AX3 plus BX2 plus CX plus D has a local maximum at the point two and four and the point of inflection at the origin. Sketch the curve. We know two and four is a point on the graph of the function. This means f of two equals four. Since two and four is the local maximum of the function, when we plug two into the derivative of the function, derivative would be zero. Similarly, 0 and 0 is a point on the graph of the function. That means when x is 0, y is 0. And second derivative of the function when x is 0 is 0. The first derivative of the function is 3ax2 plus 2bx plus c. And the second derivative of the function is 6ax plus 2b. We set the equation. When x is 2, y is 4, the first equation. When x is 0, y is 0, the third equation. When x is 0, the derivative of the function is 0, the second, the second equation. And the last equation is when x is 0, y double prime is 0. It's a simple system of equations that we can easily solve from the third and fourth equation b and d are zero, we plug them into the first and second equation and we find the values of a and c. a would be negative one over four and c is three. Sketch the graph of the function. We find the zeros of the function. Function can be factored as negative one over four x times x two minus 12. If we set y to 0, we get x equals 0 plus minus root 12. We know function is, is an odd function. An odd function is a function when f of negative x and negative f of x are the same. The maximum of the function is 2 and, the and 4. Therefore, the minimum of the function would be negative 2 and negative 4. We have two zeros at root 12 and negative root 12. We know when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity and when x approaches positive infinity y approaches negative infinity therefore the graph starts somewhere from the second derivative at uh, the second quadrant and ends in the fourth quadrant the graph would be similar to what we have here. Maximum at 2 and 4, minimum at negative 2 and negative 4, zeros at root 12 and negative root 12. 0 and 0 is the point of inflection. That means the concavity of the graph of the function changes at zero and zero. It must be symmetric about the origin. Next question. Question number seven, part A. Given the following results of the analysis of a function, a sketch possible graph of the function. f of 0 is 0.
the function passes through the origin. The horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. The vertical asymptote at x equals 3. f prime of x is smaller than 0 and f double prime of x is smaller than 0 when x is smaller than 3. So before 3 the function is decreasing and concave down. f prime of x is less than 0 and f double prime of x is greater than 0 for x greater than 3. When x is smaller than 3 function is decreasing and concave down and when it is greater than 3 function is decreasing and concave up next question question number 10 find the horizontal asymptote for f of x equals x over square root of x2 plus 1 to find the equation of horizontal asymptote of a given function, what we have to do, we have to find limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity and limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity. When x approaches positive infinity, limit of x over x2 plus 1 is the same as limit of 1 over absolute value of x square root of one plus x2 x over absolute value of x square root of 1 plus x2 by factoring x2 on the radical. When x approaches infinity, 1 over x2 approaches 0. Absolute value of x and x are equal, and the limit would be 1. This means y equals 1 is horizontal asymptote of the function at the right side when x approaches positive infinity. Limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity and limit of x over absolute value of x square root of 1 plus x2 are equal. And this limit is negative 1 this time. The main reason is absolute value of x is negative x as x approaches negative infinity when x is negative. And this means y equals negative 1 is horizontal asymptote of the function at the left side when x approaches negative infinity. Thanks for watching.